Hey everybody, this is Joey. I wanted to share this video with you to help you if you are having any um, email delivery problems. I was working with a client the other day and we went through some stuff, you know, the normal stuff that we would look at when we're looking at email delivery, like, you know, uh, making sure that your subject lines and uh, all this other kind of stuff don't put pictures into your uh, emails a lot of times. And that, aside from all of that other stuff, um, we ended up going this other route too to get a little bit more uh, under the hood and to analyze what was going on. So this is a little technical, but it's not that difficult. Really, it's not that difficult because if I can do it, anybody can do it, believe me. Um, so what I would suggest is you use this tool called MX Toolbox. And this is really cool because it will analyze your site and it's a free service. Okay, so I'm going to show you here what I'm talking about. And what I do is every now and then, like every six months or something like that, I'll go in here and I'll I'll double check how my domain is doing. And what I do is I go right here to blacklists, all right? And I type in my domain, all right? So I'm going to show you. Uh, and then I hit blacklist, okay? Now, what you can see here that I am not blacklisted on any of the main servers at all, which is a good thing, right? So that is what you're looking for. So if you are blacklisted, on any of these lists, it's not a good thing. So then you're gonna have to, um, I don't know really, I've never been blacklisted, but thank God I haven't. Um, but if you are, there is a way to contact the blacklist uh, server dude or whatever, whoever's, whoever make, uh, takes care of these, uh, you know, these notifications and get yourself unblacklisted or not blacklisted or whatever that looked like, right? And there's a way to do that. And you could certainly look up how to do that here. I don't know how to do that. Sorry, I'm not going to really um, put that into this video because you can look it up yourself here. Um, I'm not leaving you high and dry. I just want to show you some other stuff here that you want to check, all right? So the first thing is the blacklist check. And again, just, just type in your email, your, your uh, domain, and it'll give you this entire um, report. The next thing you want to do is you want to check, um, da, 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 where are we here? This one, DMARC lookup. Okay, now this one here is, you know, something that um, I wasn't aware of, and we had to change this for my site as well. And, uh, you know, you might not have this DMARC thing, and it's very, very important in today's email marketing. So this is one, and then DKIM, I'm sure you are aware of DKIM. DKIM, because if you have a um, email service provider like mine is Infusionsoft, they went through the process of having me, you know, create DK or put in a DKIM um, registration or whatever that thing is, and I had to get to do that. So that was taken care of. But this new DMARC thing, um, it was it was brand new to me. So I want to share uh, show you this, and it will show you if you have a DMARC thing. So right here, emails bouncing. Um, sorry, that's that's their um, promotion. What I'm looking for is this down here, right? DMARC record, a DNS record found, DMARC record found right here. So as you can see here, I am on the Cloudflare. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, all you got to do is you um, you create a, a uh, what's it called? A da 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 da. A text record, and I'm, and again, if I'm talking technical language, bear with me here because I'm going to show you how to do this. It's not that hard. You just have to know where to uh, your service provider, where your email is going through. In my case, it's cloud, it's Cloudflare. Um, yours might be different. Let's, let's say you're going through, I don't know, GoDaddy or HostGator or Bluehost or something like that. You can actually ask them online. Say, listen, I need a DMARC record put on my account and they will do it for you. Because I'm going through Cloudflare, um, I had to do it myself and it was not really that hard, believe me. So if you're in a situation where you're on um, Cloud Cloudflare or something like that, then all you gotta do is you go to the workbench here, okay? It's in, da -da. I just had it before I was recording this and I wanna make sure, it's in the, probably in the super tools. No, it's not super tools. Where are you? Come on there, buddy. There we go. More. It's in the more. All right. So go down to the more and it's down here. You go into DMARC generator right here. Click that little dude. 
you type in your strategic, right? Strategic.com, and you go check DMARC record, and it already has the DMARC record, but it will give you, um, it will give you what to put in. You see how it says, uh, it looks like your, your DNS hosting provider is Cloudflare. Then it says exactly what to do. Type in this stuff. You can't see because it's um, blurred out right now, but it would type, I would type in this stuff into my, uh, my Cloudflare and then it will give me, or it'll put the record that I need or DMARC record on my account, which is what I've already done. So it's already there, but I wanted to show you. So in case you're having a little bit of trouble with your email, make sure that you've got this DMARC record um, on your main account or so your, your main server or your main uh, domain. And most of you watching this will probably be with somebody like a host gator or something like that, where you can just text them or get on their chat and say, add my DMARC record to my domain. Okay. So that's what you want to do is go to the MX toolbox. It's a great toolbox just to check things out, how things are going. You know, the MX lookup is a great tool. So you again, type in your, oops, type in your domain, go MX lookup and it will tell you. So here's my MX, my MX, MX tools, right? That's the basic one. And then you see how it's giving me all of my, um, you know, it's giving me all of my host names right here. Again, they're blurred out. You can't see them, but uh, it's giving me all of the information I need. And then right over here, I got a blacklist check that I can check on each one of my, you know, email delivery uh, servers. And I can check that and say, okay, well, what about this one? What does that one look like? And then boom, it's all okay, as you can see, right? So it really works well. And that's how you would check on your email delivery behind the scenes under the hood. There you go. Hopefully this helped you out. I'll talk to you soon.